but I want to pursue some of the things we've been talking about. In your recent paper, uh, which I read, you acknowledge that research on care coordination programs has shown mixed results. This highlights the difficulty of effectively improving quality and simultaneously reducing costs. That's quoted from your paper. But isn't that an acknowledgement that the experiments that they haven't succeeded? So, uh, yes, yeah, so and this goes to um, uh, Dr. Goldsmith's first point in his, uh, in his lecture, which is the, the evidence base. You know, evidence, looking at evidence base is an interesting process uh, because uh, it's a little bit of a Rorschach test. Um, the, the fact that some organizations, of which uh, Dr. Goldsmith listed quite a few, have been successful ever suggests to me that this is doable. The fact that so many have tried and failed to date suggests to me that this is really hard. Maybe it's me and my genetic makeup, but I look at that and I say, we should be trying harder. And we should, you know, there's an old thing about, um, if you go on a diet, there's a whole different strategy going on a diet between saying, I'm not gonna eat more, and locking yourself in a room with only a limited amount of food. That's a fundamentally different way to diet, right? I think there's a role for locking ourselves in rooms that we carefully think about and plan on and say, we're gonna live on what's in this room for the next three years and figure out, use that as a mechanism to figure out how to do this. Dr. Goldsmith, what's your reaction to that answer? I mean, I, I, I agree, uh, and I guess my, my point would be the federal government has a limited bandwidth for accomplishing change in how we pay doctors and hospitals and the rest of the care system. So what my challenge to Don Berwick and the president would be is put your resources where we're going to get the most bang for the buck and the most improvement in the health status of the people that we're responsible for. And I think the problem with the ACO was you know, it just, you know, the evidence wasn't there. What the ACO had was prominent and, you know, and I respect them, really uh, well-placed advocates who believed as a matter of faith that this was a template that we ought to use to model our entire healthcare care system on. So instead of relying on evidence, we relied on emotion and decided that this was, you know, this was the first, uh, you know, horse that we were going to let out of the gate. I think it was a terrible political error. 